So Prabhu's, I'm just uh, I'm just gonna head into the uh, seminar room because uh, Chait's mentioned to me that there's a ceremony going on today to give uh, plaques, awards to two of the older Gurukulis who went through so many difficult times. Um, Av and uh, Karnamrita, and uh, they're going to honor them for their contribution to our generations that are represented here. And I think it's very important for me, at least, to be there. Um, I know many of you have seen this video that's been going around the internet talking about the uh, um, the uh, different. Uh, places where there's still like concern about you know how to take care of the kids properly how to make sure that the abuses of the past didn't happen again how to make strong institutions so that we don't have to um, always be in a state of flux and concern about the next generation and you know this is very important stuff uh, but one thing that my my humble contribution to this conversation is this is not something that can be solved by one generation it's something that has to, the healing has to spread out in all directions. So that means that, you know, like my mother, who thought she was doing the right thing, sending me to Gurukul at four and a half, she also has to be healed. I also have to be healed. My kids also have to be healed. This is not something that really is, a, is based on one person or one action. So the only way to do that is that we have to do our part. We have to be part of a solution. Uh, Accusations and blame can only go so far because it's one pointed in one direction. So clarity has to be on all sides. We have to see how can I help, how can I put energy in towards actually fixing the situation, healing the situation. Because it's not something that can be done by itself. The reality is, in my opinion, that Malati Prabhu's generation, they went through so many sacrifices on their own and there was no one for them to put the finger on that it was there they made those decisions themselves but though they also made sacrifices in the hopes that those sacrifices would come to our generations right so now as they're getting older we have to continue to help because the reality is that generation is going to continue to need support they're getting older soon there will be like stronger need for old age home and hospice care and who's going to help with that? Also us. So someone can say, so much burden is on our generation. We didn't ask for any of this, and now we're doing everything, taking care of everything. But they also made sacrifices. We also made sacrifices. And guess what? Our kids are also making sacrifices. That's what it means to be a society. We all pitch in. So these, these things that have to be solved, these things that are being brought to light, they're very important. And one thing that we can do is to honor the past generations and, and to say very clearly, if it wasn't for Gurukulis like Raghu, if it wasn't for Gurukulis like Karnamrita, for AV, we wouldn't be able to be here just blissfully chanting. They took the burden off of some of us so that we could have this joy. So many kids like, you know, I went to Gurukula like, you know, 10 years before Kish, and his Gurukul experience was so much better than mine. I could either be upset about that or I could say, I got to contribute to Keisha's Gurukul experience being more happy because I got to take some of that tapasya on myself and make it better for Keish. And Keish is gonna say the same thing for the next. So that's how I would like to see it. And I would like to ask us all that, these things that were brought up, uh, all these things about strengthening child protection and making sure there's strong oversight, independent oversight, all these things, we, the only way to solve it is for us to pitch in. And you know, the reality is that, you know, my, my Pitta, he gave a, a, sem a seminar on, on uh, child protection, and most of the people who came were first generation devotees. We all were out playing and goofing off and having fun. So someone's got to pitch in, right? Like it can't be a one-sided solution. So if we want to see solutions, then we have to talk amongst ourselves, like how do we solve this? Because everybody's moving on, like passing on, literally, like we have to solve it. It's not, there's there's going to be a point where there's no one, help, no, one, no one left to put the finger at. So he was like, so this is why I'm going now to this ceremony to honor these elders. And um, I don't want to just honor these elders, my own generation elders. I also want to honor the elders of that generation and hold space for each other. You know, devotees like Purusharta Prabhu, road-dogging it with his base around the world to try and show 
support. So forgive me for leaving. Thank you all for your sangha. You're so beautiful and wonderful. And uh, let's continue the great work that we've all started. We're leaving today. Thank you to everyone. Have a wonderful mela. You guys are awesome. Especially I want to thank all the organizers who have been setting up, breaking down, setting up, breaking down, moving from the rain, wiping, cleaning, this, that, like nonstop. So that's their love and their service for all of us, especially Das. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>